Hello everybody and welcome back. This is just a quick video to show you how to use the map. Um, and it's a free interactive map. You don't have to pay to use it. It's okay to share. It's not a problem. How to find the stories, the accounts. I send lots of people the map link, but I don't tend to tell them how to use it. Um, so I'm going to take a minute now to show you how to do that because it might help you out in the future. And some people just like reading the accounts. Um, so if you have a Google, you'll find the link. It's on all of my channels. It's on Facebook. You just if you basic do a basic Google search for British Bigfoot map, it will come under it. It comes up under um, that name there. Um, so you'll find it. it's not hard. So you can do one or two things. The accounts, as I add them, go to the bottom. So the newer they are, the further down the list they are. You can change the map by clicking this icon here. Um, just change my screen so you can see it there. There we go. So you click on that icon, and the map will change to terrain, and that will enable you when you, you know, when you to find the mountain areas, your river sources, water sources, that kind of thing. But if you're looking for woodland, you want to have it on that setting because it'll show you it shows you all the green areas. So you can either come up here and put your a town of your choice in. So I'm going to put the Medway, just a, an example, and it starts to come up the accounts here. Or you can go to the actual Medway yourself by clicking on it. It's not taking me out, it never does what you want it to do, is it? And it starts to give you the account. So you can see the account there, and that's the Bat Beast of Kent. So as I start to zoom out, if there are any other accounts in that area, we should start to see map icons. See, we have two here around Bluebell Hill. So we keep looking and we think, right, is there anywhere else? Where should I be looking? If I wanted to look for a sighting, where would I go? Well, because the creature's been seen in this area and it's been reported in this area, this means that this is the area that people are moving around in. I would look anywhere else because surely they have to be moving in. There's a river medway. So surely they have to be moving in some kind of pattern to and from an area. So we zoom out, we think, right, we'll zoom out. Is there a pattern starting to form? Well, there is, isn't there? We can see we've got a footprint account here, hence the foot. That will take you to anything that's a footprint, footsteps, followed by footsteps, anything where a creature hasn't been seen. The Bat Beast is because that was how it was described. That icon is the actual witness's own picture, and I've shrunk it and put it onto the map. This icon that you see covers tall, upright, hairy, and they either have to say the word Bigfoot, Ape Man, Gorilla Man, Monkey Man, something along the lines of a hairy ape-like, human-like creature. They get the Bigfoot um, icon. So we go back, we'll have a look at their thing. As you can see there, so there's 436 more accounts, you see. If it comes in under this, it will have been described as a werewolf and it will have had to have stood up on two legs. And here's the account here for it. If there's any other information on it, I add it onto the account or I add it onto the actual icon itself. Um, and everything you need to know is on there. So you can scroll down. This means that there's been more than one scene um, and they've been seen together or in a family group. As you see here. These are where it's described as down on all fours. So they can't give a definite description of creature, but it's down on all fours. The audio, obviously, with the ear the sign, and so on and so forth as you go. So you can either click on here, and it takes you to a particular sighting. The, the site is wrote out here for you. Or you can click on the actual icon itself, and it will the account will come up. I'll scroll out and have a look what else is around in that area and as we can see there it kind of there is a definite path form in here so anywhere in these areas where you think you have a hunch go and look what have you got to lose you see Kielder but beware there are areas on the map where we do have sightings and the people have not been prepared to come forward as in Kielder it's a very good example there is an account there of a paranormal group that has seen a tall hairer upright bigger, experienced wood knocks and howls, but they were not really prepared um, 
to give me any much more information I didn't really want to go on the map so there are areas on the map where we have accounts and unfortunately I've not been able to add them um, and that's down to the witnesses themselves and that is their prerogative I don't put everything you tell me on the map that is down to you and I will always do what you want first if you see a blue icon that is an account that I haven't had time to get onto the map it's come in I've, I've got it all the details are there I just haven't had a chance to add it. If you're looking at our in Ireland for the Irish researchers, I would definitely be looking in this northwest corner because most of the accounts that come in from Ireland tend to northeast, sorry, tend to come in on this northeast edge, and I'm unsure why, but that's how it happens. Um, so as you can see, there are a lot of accounts all across the UK of tall, upright, walking figures. That nobody can explain and that's how you use the map and uh, I hope it's of some view to you if not just enjoy it um, there's some interesting stories on there it'll open your mind a little bit but, but for me and the guys and girls at Rush's Bigfoot we will get back to you as soon as we can until then good night